So, you know I like electronics. Well, I decided that I was going to get into something a little bit different. So I bought a Macintosh SE, one of the classic old 9-inch screen black and white compact Macs from the 1980s and early 90s. The motherboard that I pulled out of it looked something like that. As you can see, there's rust, rust, oh dear, yes, the battery exploded and it killed all of the components around here, killed the SCC processor down that side, most of these are gone and dead. I, mean, I don't know if you can kind of see all the sort of like the murky, crusty crap, it leaked all the way over the board and basically killed it. However, I decided that I was going to take a leaf out of a friend of mine's book and um, like, well, most of the custom chips on here are that, 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 that one, and that one. Ones that haven't actually been touched by corrosion. The rest of them are all still mostly off the shelf parts. Uh, the resistors, the capacitors, you know, the, even the, you know, even these ones, these ones, these ones, you know, and all of these bits are still available off the shelf. So I decided I was going to, you know, use this one as a, as a as a basis to sort of strip some stuff down, and I decided to get um, another board. Hang on, I got another board off uh, off eBay for twenty euros. And I took everything off of it. So that's what it looks like with everything removed. And you can kind of see there where I've sort of stripped away with a fiberglass pencil so I can see some of the traces and where they go underneath the silk screen. So with some of these, you know, I was still learning with my desoldering gun. I, you know, I pulled out some through holes, but you can just about see where the traces themselves go and where they kind of got cut off. And it's not a problem. So the idea of this is you strip the components off and then you scan the board both sides um, and you load them up into a program called Sprint. Now with Sprint you can load up um, your project using this board image as kind of a template. Think of it like um, think of it like you're drawing with um, like you know, you're placing parts over the top. So, here is Sprint. It's the image that you load in, okay? And then, there you go, you add the components on top. And then it is literally just a case of, like, zoom in, you know, select your part there or your part there. Um, actually, let's go for part here, for example. So, there's, yeah, there goes the real-time clock. So, you literally just drag and drop from a library and then place it on there, and then it's just join the dots. Eventually, you end up with a board that looks a little bit like this. There we go. So that's the full-size board image. That's the top side. And then that's the bottom side. So you end up with that. Then, you send it off for production at a board house. So in China, this in, in, you know, for this particular instance. So... There we go. Matches up perfectly. So I'll put the two side by side. There we go. So I've basically just done a, essentially a photocopy, like a one-to-one -one copy of the top and bottom layers. But you think, well, actually there's going to be more layers to that. Correct, they're the ground and power layers. And I don't know if you can see through the light here. There's a split power, split power plane there, and I've mapped internally using a multimeter. You can just see there, um, see on those pins there. Those are the ones that sort of connect to stuff internally onto the yeah onto the, onto the planes onto the, onto the ground of the power planes. Um, so yeah, buzz those out. So you end up with a bare board, and then over the course of about a day or so. Transfer most of the, uh, the yeah you know, the components that aren't available. So things like the things like the little reset and program and switch there, um, and things like the custom chips. So I've added sockets to the board. So 
everything can, everything that can be used has been used, including you know, the master one there. That's just an off-the-shelf 68010 that I've decided to use. And then I'm using brand new resistors for, for literally everything. Um, and I've got here some um, 100 nanofarad decoupling capacitors there that are going to go in like those spots there. So that one and then one like you know one two three four five six seven you know there's the, you know there's plenty that are needed on here and then hopefully once this is all back together um i will have essentially saved this board and also um anyone else who has a broken one all they have to do then is buy one of these boards off me um they can pull out all their custom chips junk everything else um and resolder a new one from scratch so yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to hobby-wise.